Are you curious about needle felting? If you have never needle felted before, felting inside of a cookie cutter is the best way to start. All you need to create a cute little felted piece inside of a cookie cutter shape is a cookie cutter of your choice, plastic or metal, wool roving, and a felting needle. You'll also want a surface to felt on top of. This could be a piece of foam, a felting mat, or even a sponge. You just want your sponge to be dry. To begin, place your cookie cutter on your felting mat, take some of your wool and place it inside of your cookie cutter. You want to use the amount of wool that will fit inside of your cookie cutter when condensed and pressed down tightly, but that will puff back out and explode out of your cookie cutter if you let it go. Now, while holding the wool and cookie cutter down, begin poking the needle into your wool. Watch out for your fingers. Hold your fingers on the outside edges or away from the area you're working on. Notice that the barbs on the felting needle are only on the first half inch of the needle. So you don't have to press your needle down hard or far through the wool. You're just working with that tip. Continue to poke with your needle until the wool seems to begin to mat and to kind of stay together in a clump. Once your wool is staying together in a clump, you'll be ready to flip your cookie cutter over and begin to felt the other side. Again, press the wool down to help it stay flat and condensed. Once you have needle felted the center area of both sides of your piece, you're ready to concentrate more on the edges. Carefully poke your needle around the outside edge on both sides multiple times. And as you're doing this, any stray pieces of wool that are going over the edge of your cookie cutter can be guided inward so that you can start to really maintain the form that you are looking for. If you take your wool out of the cookie cutter and can easily pull off wispy ends or change its shape, then you know you are not finished needle felting yet. It's going to take a lot of patience and time to really create a well felted piece, even when using a cookie cutter to help you. As you work, you might notice that some areas need a little bit more wool, especially in little corners. It's simple to add more wool to a needle felted piece. Just place the wool where you want it and start poking in that area and it will attach to the main form. It is much easier to add more wool than to take wool away when needle felting. When you can take your wool out of the cookie cutter and it keeps its shape, then you know you're ready to start paying attention to the edges. Carefully hold your piece and needle felt around the edges to have a nice firm outline. Once you're finished with that, you are ready to add details if you choose or maybe begin a more advanced project. Thanks for watching and hope this helps get you started needle felting.